What was it like being in that selection room on Saturday, James? Well, I, I'm, I'm going to cut right to it mm -hmm. because I had 75 touchdowns during the course of my career. The guy that we didn't let in had 153. When I look at, I can look at all uh, all Tio's other numbers, but I'm just I had a hard time with that, and I had a hard time with. You know, obviously, the, the discussions that go on in the room, I think, are private, but the voting obviously isn't private. Um, just like, you know, we just had a national election. There, there were emotions on both sides. So here's a guy that I looked at, and what he did on the football field I just thought was phenomenal. And from a person who did the same thing and who really appreciates the position, you know, I'm at a loss for words. Well, I mean, you, you aren't allowed, from what I'm understanding, to say specifically the name of a person who said what. that it, That's anonymous. But the general tenor of the discussion is, is allowed to be discussed. I mean, yeah, and, so, and so, but Terrell Owens was not let in because a bunch of, the, uh, a predominant amount of the writers uh, heard about some of the stories that may or may not have happened in the locker room. And correct. the fact that, that he was cut. Um, or he was traded, let loose by three other the teams. I mean, well, 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 Jerry Rice was also on multiple teams. Other guys were on multiple teams. And and if you're and if you're cut or traded, that means the next person wants you. So what did you say in the room? Were you just sitting there shaking your head over this thing, or no, did you? I, I mean, I, I spoke and I spoke on his behalf. Um, you know, it was. It, it's funny because I've been in, in in draft rooms where you know a player comes up and you you, you know you get the, the phrase oh they stood up on the table for him you know like somebody had to stand up on the table to make the Julio Jones trade and say this is what we need to do blah 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 so when Terrell Owens came up his presenter came up and and I might have been the second person to chime in and you know I looked at what happened on that 100 by 53 and a third yard field and what I saw was pretty special. What I saw was Hall of Fame worthy. And so after James Lofton, Pro Football Hall of Famer, stood up in the room after the uh, individual who presented uh, T.O. said, this guy's a Hall of Famer, he, he still was not voted in. Is that what I'm basically to understand? Oh, yeah. And uh, that's, <laughs> that's very correct. <laughs> wow. And one of the things for, for guys who don't make the Hall of Fame and, you know, you look and you go, oh, you know, it was close. For those guys, you just say not yet. The, the thing I'm concerned about with Terrell Owens is that is, is he being treated like these guys who, you know, use steroids in baseball? And, and I don't think that, that that should be the case at all. Hmm. So are you going to do this again next year, too? Yeah, if, if they don't kick me off. Well, <laughs> no, they're not going to kick you. So, <laughs> and, and once again, you don't get a vote. You don't get a vote. I, 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 will, I will say this. Yes. Um, it was one of – see, I sat in the room last year, and I kind of, remember how in college you say somebody's auditing a class? Sure, of course. So I got to audit the meeting last year. I sat in there for 10 hours last year. I didn't get to vote or, vote or anything like that. But it, to me, it was one of the most important things that I've done in pro football. Uh, you know, I've said I got to play, I got to coach, I get to broadcast. But, but getting to vote on welcoming guys into the Hall of Fame. Because that, that's more the way I look at it. I'm not trying to keep somebody out. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the 18 candidates that we had and obviously the 15 that are kind of going head-to-head -head and, and kind of trying to think, think mm -hmm. okay, who can, I, who, who, who can I get in this time? Which five can I get in? And there, there were – the 15 are there because they're worthy. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not there because, oh, it's some type of lark. But they've, they've had fantastic careers. And um, for some of them, it's, it's just not yet. You know, it's, we always get asked this question. Rich, if you could pick any three people in history that you'd want to have lunch with, sure. who would the three people be? And you'd, name, you, you'd come up with three great names, and they'd go, okay, but you can only have one. And that's what the Hall of Fame voting was like. Here are 15 phenomenal players through, through the course of history. But you can only let five in. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.